five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Shields to You Vlog. Today I thought we'd make some shrimp parmesan. Now, if you have any food allergies, of course, you could do this with chicken or zucchini or eggplant or whatever you like to fry up. But um, I'm going to warp through the process of breading the shrimp. So just sit back and enjoy for a few seconds and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I heated the oil up. I used extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to place the shrimp in like such. You don't want to load the frying pan. Just a couple at a time. Mine's probably going to be done in about two batches. I didn't use really big shrimp, but that's okay. I just figured it was just two of us eating. So we'll be able to finish this off, no problem. Now you just want to fry them till they're golden brown. Be in the oven later, so that'll uh, finish cooking them up. You just really want to fry them up. They they fry pretty quick, and then I'll show you how to uh, pan them up and get them ready for the oven. And then you want to flip them, let them go for another minute or two, and then you're going to remove them and put them on a paper towel to drain. Now I don't season the shrimp. I know you can put a little salt and pepper. That's up to you. I usually let everything else flavor it because the breadcrumbs already have a lot of salt and stuff in them and of course I have a homemade tomato sauce so it's up to you but I would just say just do them right out of the you know just right out of the package clean deveined and butter fried these look ready to turn Okay, so we got our fried shrimp. I've got my sauce. I've got some mozzarella. Oh, my mom would kill me if she heard me say mozzarella. Mozzarella and shredded, of course. And we're just going to add that here. But first what we want to do is we want to add some sauce to the pan. Just smooth it around. Kind of helps them from sticking, although they usually don't stick too bad. Once you got some sauce in there, like I said, spread it around. Then just place your shrimp. Let's give them a little space. Don't crowd them. Just like such. So you place the shrimp in the sauced pan, give them a little space. That way, you've got plenty of room to put your cheese and all your goodies on. And then each one, oops, put a little more sauce on each one. Just helps keep them nice and moist. Plus they absorb the flavor. go and then some cheese and you might not get the cheese to stay on them and that's okay it's they're still gonna be in there when you bake them I always say you can't add too much cheese <laughs> Or, there's no such thing as too much cheese, right? Basically, all you're going to do is bake them in the oven. Um, I use like 350. Um, I put a little foil over them. And I bake them for about 20 minutes, and then I take the foil off, and then I 
keep them in there but you got to watch it because you definitely don't want the cheese to burn um, so about 20 minutes and then like I said you take the foil off and you can put it back in the oven if it's if the, if the cheese isn't bubbling then you can put it back in for a bit without the foil but 350 should do fine Now, I'm not going to bake this today. We're going to have this for dinner on Thursday. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, cellophane uh, plastic wrap over the top and put them in the fridge. Now, when you're ready to bake them, you want to take them out probably about an hour before you bake them so it has time to warm up a little bit. That way, um, you know, it'll heat through. And, uh, well, enjoy. I hope you liked my video of my shrimp parmesan. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching the Mr. Shields to you vlog. I am Mr. Shields, and that's Mr. Shields to you. Have a great day.